this is my review of the Demon Seed motors. These are the 2208 1750 KB non cryo version. And the reason we're out here to check those out is because there's a cryo version and a non cryo version. Today we're testing out the non cryo version. So let's get these props changed on this guy over here too. We have two quads, so we got to do two different prop change outs. And these Demon Seed motors, man, they're really, really beefy. Like, I've flown them, and I just wanted to do a review on them. I want to show you guys the difference. Like, I feel the difference. I'm hoping the video can show the difference. Because, like, I see my props flex like crazy in the, in the DVR. So, if they're flexing like crazy. They're definitely doing something. Because the other ones don't flex on the other motors there, and that's the Zines. These are an 1800 KV. Goodness. Okay, let's get a pack out. Very, very similar. Same stack, same flight controller, same settings. Not exactly the same tune, but darn close. I did spend about five minutes tuning. I mean, with Emu Flight, it doesn't usually take more than that, which is kind of nice. Get the transmitter turned on, and we'll sync everything up and go fly. Good to go. Okay. Okay. Call that one good. All right, here we go. Really like how this feels, just orbiting, right? It's loose. We don't have any fast rates on our little race quads here, so I'm just going to try to do a couple of quick little movements here and show you guys. Do a little bit of freestyle. Bring it around this thing. See that it's got good punch. So I'm not having a punch issue. What I've noticed is this is linear feeling, but the very end of the stick is like turbo. For freestyle, it's fine, but like almost got me in trouble with the race quad. So right here, it's linear. It's just full throttle, like it. It's hard to explain. It just doesn't stay linear the whole time. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna power loop. Feels very predictable, right? For the most part. It feels like the, the ability to fly them is there because I've flown these motors for a year now. Yeah, I've been flying these motors for just about a year. A couple months shy. And let's bring it on in here in a second. I hear kids off in the distance, so... A little spin going there. Oop, touch the ground. Grab it easily. Slow landing today. Switches are in the right direction. Okay. Sink this bitch. 
And that shit just said beta flight. And I know I don't have beta flight on this quad. I have emu flight. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Maybe it said emu flight. I'm just stupid. More than likely the correct answer. Okay. So this one doesn't have as good of a camera. It's got the fox ear. Um, ah, what is this one? The fox ear Predator 4. The one we were flying with has the Predator 5, so it's got the new, new camera on it. Uh, this camera is noticeably different. It is a nano. So let's just fly and try not to pay attention to the other stuff that is distracting with this quad, which is the camera. The camera is a little disorientating because I need to set it up and I have not. So let's do this fly around here. See, this thing feels locked. Like when I turn, it doesn't flutter. It's smooth. And when it punch outs, it feels different. So, I don't know if that is noticeable there. It feels like it's noticeable. This quad has a quite a bit more thrust than the other one. I think the camera angle is a little bit lower on this one. Let's go do an orbit here. And I feel like I can go around this orbit a lot faster and I'm just holding it. It just feels different. And these are uh, about $20 a piece motors. Uh, you get these from Addictive RC. Uh, they're pretty damn good, man. I am not an orbiting guy. If anybody watches my channel, they know I'm not that kind of an orbiting dude, but... And plus we have a GoPro on here too, so... And like, when you turn like that, it just feels like it grabs, it snaps into it. Like, when you do this orbit, it tracks instead of sliding. The Zing slide. This feels like when you give it an input, it's just doing it. It doesn't, uh, I don't know, I just feel much more control. I feel, uh, I mean, it's a little disorientating because of the camera. I'm not used to this camera yet. But that, just to do that the way I did, oh, hit a tree. Didn't see it. Like I said, camera. Camera issues, man. But yeah, dude, these, these fucking motors, man. I'm just tripping out on them. Like, I don't want to stop flying. And the pack's probably done. Yep. But these motors, they're ice cold too. That's the other thing. No matter how hard I run them, they don't come down hot. And these aren't the cryos. The cryos, uh, you can use a spray in them. That's the only difference in this versus the cryo version, which is about $26, I think they are a piece. Uh, these are 20 or maybe right around $20. They were on sale for $19.99 at... Uh, Addictive RC, and um, yeah, I got them as soon as he said that he had them in stock. I was like, get me those motors. I have to have them. Yeah, dude, I'm actually impressed. I hate the camera, but I like the quad. Definitely awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.